Hello friends, in this part of online examination system, which has been made by PHP script, here we will discuss coding part of, how user can attend examination question, and give question answer. In previous part, we have make examination timer, and load profile details on web page, by using PHP script with Ajax, now in running examination module, there is only one part is left. And that is attend online question, for this question attend operation, here we will use Ajax with PHP script for submit, question answer. For this things, we have go to view exam.php file, and go to jQuery code part. Here we have write document selector, with on method, and under this, we have right click event, with option radio box class answer option, so when user has select any one option from four option, then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write question ID variable is equal to dollar this with data method, and under this we have write question ID, it will fetch value from data question ID attribute. Below this, we have write answer option variable is equal to dollar this with data method, and under this, we have write ID, it will fetch value from data ID attribute. After getting question ID and answer option data, now we have start write Ajax request, and in first option, we have write URL set to user Ajax action.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and here we have define question ID variable value, answer option variable value, exam ID variable value, page variable, with view exam as value, and action variable as answer value, has been sent to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Now we have go to user ajax action.php file, and here under this view exam if block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable is equal to action, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, first we want to get the value, of particular exam right answer mark, for this, here we have write dollar exam right answer mark variable is equal to dollar exam object with get question right answer mark method and under this we have write dollar post exam id variable this method will return particular exam right answer marks data now we have go to examination.php class and here we have make get question right answer mark function with argument dollar exam id under this function we have write dollar this query variable is equal to select marks per right answer from online exam table where online exam id is equal to dollar exam id variable value below this query 
we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar this with query result method this method will execute query and return query execution result for fetch data from dollar result variable here we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write return statement with dollar row marks per write answer variable this is output of this function now we have go to user ajax action dot php file and here we want to get particular exam marks for wrong answer for this here we have write dollar exam wrong answer mark variable is equal to dollar exam object with get question wrong answer mark method with argument dollar post exam id variable this method will return marks for wrong answer of particular examination now we have go to examination.php class and here we have make function with name get question wrong answer mark with argument dollar exam id variable under this function we have write dollar this query variable is equal to select marks per wrong answer from online exam table where online exam id is equal to dollar exam id variable value below this select query we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar this with query result method this method will execute above select query and return query execution result for fetch data from this dollar result variable we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write return statement with dollar row marks per wrong answer variable it will return particular marks for wrong answer of particular exam now we have go to user ajax action dot php file and here we have write dollar original answer variable is equal to dollar exam object with get question answer option method and under this method we have write dollar post question id variable this method will return particular question write answer option first we have go to examination.php file and here we have make function with name get question answer option with argument dollar question id variable under this function we have write dollar this with query variable is equal to select answer option from question table where question id is equal to dollar question id variable value below this select query we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar this with query result method this method will return query execution result for fetch data from dollar result variable here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write return statement with dollar row answer option variable so it will return particular question write answer option which is an output of this function now we have go to user ajax action dot php file and here we have write dollar marks variable is equal to zero below this we have write if statement and under condition 
we have right dollar original answer variable value is equal to dollar post answer option variable value. If this condition true, that means user has select right answer. And it will execute if block of code, and here we have right dollar marks is equal to plus sign with value of dollar exam right answer mark variable, here we have store right answer mark value. But suppose user has select wrong answer, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have right, dollar marks variable is equal to, minus sign, with value of dollar exam wrong answer mark variable, here we have store question wrong mark value. Now we have right, dollar exam object with data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have right double colon user answer option, with value dollar post answer option variable value. In second key, we have right double colon marks table column name, with value dollar marks variable, so here user question answer data, has been stored under this array. Now we have right dollar exam object, with query variable is equal to, update user exam question answer table, set user answer option table column is equal to, double colon user answer option. And marks table column is equal to, double colon marks, and in where condition, we have write user ID is equal to, dollar session user ID variable value. And exam ID is equal to, dollar post exam ID variable value, and question ID is equal to, dollar post question ID variable value, this query will update particular question option details, and marks details. For execute this update query, we have write dollar exam object with, execute query method, this method will execute above query. So on every time this code will execute, when user has select question option, and it will update question option and marks data in table. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see running exam web page, and on web page, we can see one question with four option, and for go to next question, here we can see next button. So, by click on next button, we can go to next question, and here we can also see question number navigation also, so by click on this any number of link, we can go to that number of question. Here we can also see online exam timer on web page, here we can see how many time is left for complete examination. Now we have give answer of question. So, here we have select this option for question, so this question answer data has been update in database at a time. So on every option selection, question answer data will be updated. This way, we have to attend all question, suppose we have not attend any question, then it will be recorded as wrong answer. Once we have attend all question, so we can leave this page, or if exam time is over then pop-up dialog box will appear on web page, with message like exam time over. So, in this part, 
we have discuss how to give answer of question and how question answer data has been update in database in next part we will make result of completed online examination at user side if you have some suggestion regarding this php based online examination system you can comment in comment box if you want to learn this system please stay connected with us